Navanche's shipyard in Cartagena, Mercia, has hosted the naming ceremony of the S-82, Narciso Montreal, submarine. This is the second vessel in the S-80 series being built for the Spanish Navy. The event, presided over by the Minister of Defense, Margarita Robles, was a solemn occasion, with the submarine's sponsor being Mrs. Isabel Lopez, spouse of the Chief of Defense, Admiral Teodoro Lopez Calderon. The ceremony took place next to the facility where the final outfitting of the submarine was completed. This is the step before the vessel is placed in the water using a floating dock, a maneuver that takes several hours and will be carried out in the coming weeks as part of the shipyard's operations. The S-82 will be then ready to begin harbor trials and, subsequently, sea trials, which include surface navigation and submersion to maximum depth, thus confirming the progress of the S-80 program, a fundamental project for Spanish defense and for its industrial and technological sovereignty. The event was attended by the Chief of Defense, Admiral Teodoro Lopez Calderon, Chief of Naval Staff, Admiral General Antonio Pinero Sanchez and Secretary of State for Defense, Amparo Valcarce and Navanche's Chief Operations Officer, COO, Gonzalo Mateo Guerrero, amongst other authorities. On behalf of Navantia, the Director of Submarine Business, Augustine Alvarez, welcomed the attendees, highlighting and thanking the work carried out by Navanche's workers and its partner industries. Navanche's COO, Gonzalo Mateo Guerrero, stated that, the S-80 program is a direct contribution to defense, sovereignty, and the international projection of our industry. We are honored to continue building capabilities that strengthen the security of Spain and our allies. It has industrial, strategic, commercial, and defense significance. Industrially, it drives the modernization of processes and technologies. Strategically, it provides a technological advantage, reinforcing national security and sovereignty. Commercially, it opens export opportunities, and in terms of defense, it contributes to the protection of national interests, concluded Mateo Guerrero. Next, the Chief of Naval Staff emphasized that the submarine is the ultimate deterrent, discreet and lethal. Its mere presence contributes to sea control and denies the opponent freedom of maneuver. The submarine force is a capability the Navy has maintained for over a hundred years, and is now exponentially enhanced with the S-80 submarines. Closing the ceremony, the Minister of Defense, Margarita Robles, recalled that this program is the continuation of a path of success, hard work, progress, and future, aimed at strengthening our Navy, Cartagena, the region of Murcia, and, above all, Spain. The ship's sponsor and wife of the Chief of Defense Staff, Isabel Lopez, expressed her gratitude and emotion, as well as her joy at taking part in a ceremony that marks a historic milestone for Cartagena. This submarine, second in the S-80 series of four, is named after Narciso Montreal Esteriol, a Spanish engineer, intellectual, politician, painter, and inventor, born in Figueres, Girona, in 1819. He is recognized, along with Cosme Garcia Cs and Isaac Perel, as one of the pioneers of global submarine navigation. The results of his work are collected in his posthumous work, Essay on the Art of Navigating Underwater published in 1891. He was the inventor of the Ictinio, a submarine launched in Barcelona in 1859. In September of that year, he conducted a public demonstration in which the submarine remained submerged for more than two hours at 20 meters, and successfully returned to the surface. The S-80 submarines have an overall length of 80.8 .8 meters, a diameter of 7.3 meters, and a submerged displacement of around 3,000 tons. Among their technological contributions are the combat and platform control system developed by Navanche's systems business unit, and a revolutionary anaerobic propulsion system, called Beast AIP that provides great stealth while submerged. This atmosphere-independent propulsion system allows the generation of electrical energy from fuel cells using technology derived from the aerospace sector, at any depth. Thus, they can remain submerged for weeks without surfacing to periscope depth greatly enhancing their discretion, the main attribute of a submarine, placing the S-80 among the most advanced conventional, non-nuclear, submarines in the world. The S-80 submarine program generates direct, indirect, and induced employment for more than 6,000 people and has an annual impact on Spain's GDP exceeding 250 million euros. Additionally, around 100 partner companies participate in the program.